Real Vision CEO Raul Paul has had a lot to say on Tesla concerning the stock, equity market, and emerging industries that affect whether Tesla will reach $20 trillion soon. Last year, Tesla, the leading electric vehicle brand, made a total of $53.8 billion in sales. With so many new developments and expansion projects, this year is shaping up nicely for the brand. However, the current state of the economy is tumultuous at best. Would Tesla be able to replicate these results and even surpass them? Will the positive market sentiment they've managed to achieve continue? Keep watching to find out. Raul Pal is an investment strategist, economist, and former hedge fund manager. He was one of the few investors who currently predicted the 2008-2009 mortgage crisis, along with Michael Burry, a famous Tesla bear. Raul Pal has always been interested in investing. But his rise to the top began with his role as head of European hedge fund sales in Goldman Sachs Stocks and Equity Derivatives Division. Powell is most well known in the financial realm, but he also has a strong internet presence, courtesy of the Real Vision Financial Analysis streaming network he co-founded. Upon reflection, he mentioned Tesla's admission into the S&P, saying that he believes Tesla will fall after inclusion because practically all buying has already taken place. He acknowledged that it's usual for stock to drop for a long time after being included, but added that this is Tesla, so who knows what could happen. And Tesla stock certainly did drop. For several months since the beginning of the year, there was a prolonged decline in the stock price, and many assumed the game was over for the electric vehicle brand. What they failed to take into account was that the business was booming for Tesla regardless of market sentiment. In an interview, Paul stated that Elon Musk initially prevailed because the equity market allowed him to raise a limitless amount of money. But, as Paul pointed out, this tells the tale of what's going on right now. People will pay anything for these types of equities, but not for old economy stocks, and corporations that don't require money are doing exceptionally well. This insinuates that sales and stock will continue to go even higher, with possibly no limits. Morningstar's Seth Goldstein seems to agree with him, saying he feels Tesla is expensive, even if his base case forecasts the business becomes a top 10 car maker in terms of worldwide annual vehicle sales. He has stated he anticipates Tesla's gross margins to increase in the long run as a result of the company's ability to lower manufacturing unit costs and the launch of its subscription software. It wasn't easy for Tesla to turn a profit in the first years, and recently, with the current macroeconomic state, can Tesla continue to reach the groundbreaking numbers like the days of old? The business announced the third quarter of 2021 to be a record time in several ways in a report accompanying the results. It added, We achieved our best ever net income, operating profit, and gross profit. We also achieved an operating margin of 14.6% exceeding our medium-term projection of a low teens operating margin. Tesla also noted that profitability was achieved despite the average selling price falling 6% year-over-year in the third quarter, owing to a move toward lower-priced vehicles. Powell has said he's far more excited about emerging markets than commodities. He says commodity cycles will be less pronounced in a technology-driven world with an aging population, and he's quite right. The coming decade will be defined by emerging market domination, and Tesla is already doing great on that score and is currently focused on expanding the business. According to Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives, Tesla's recently opened Gigafactory in Germany is a significant milestone for the firm, as it will allow the company to produce another half million vehicles a year. In a note to clients, Wedbush's Ives said, we continue to feel that Tesla's stock has been substantially oversold over the previous few months, along with the risk-off sentiment among tech investors. However, the street has begun to comprehend what pivotal launch of Giga Berlin implies for the Tesla supply store in 2022 and beyond over the past week. Tesla will be able to significantly increase production in Europe with the opening of the Gigafactory in Germany, while also lowering the cost of importing cars from its Shanghai factory. Later this month, Tesla will begin shipping vehicles from its Gigafactory in Texas. All Tesla vehicles sold in the United States are produced at the company's Fremont factory in California, which has the capacity of 500,000 electric vehicles per year. Once fully operational, Gigafactory Texas is planned to more than double this output, but that will be a few years away. Housing prices in the area of Tesla's planned Gigafactory in Austin are rising as the company prepares to relocate its corporate headquarters to Texas. According to Redfin, some prices in Travis County, Texas, where the plant will be built, were up 53.7% year-over-year in September, selling for a median price of $363,000.
When compared to the rest of Austin, this is higher than 26%. Tesla has delivered its all-electric pickup truck to its new headquarters, according to a recent film captured at Gigafactory Texas. The Cybertruck's arrival at the Giga Texas location coincides in the release of the new photographs of the vehicle's alpha prototype on the internet. Thanks to the Austin factory, Musk believes Tesla will be a true mass producer of electric vehicles by the end of the year. With these developments, more and more investors are getting interested in the brand and buying into the stock. But with the company's latest announcements, this number might double. On March 28th, Tesla once again stole the show. The company's stock jumped by 8%, leaving many investors wondering if they should purchase more or sell or maintain the course. The electric vehicle giant announced plans to raise the number of authorized ordinary stock shares. Tesla can pursue a stock split if the firm receives approval from its shareholders. Although Tesla's stock split is subject to shareholder approval, we'll look at what could happen if you decide to buy in before the split. Stock splits are nothing new for Tesla. The company's most recent stock split occurred on August 31, 2020. The company's stock price dropped from $2,200 to roughly $450 as a result of this. Tesla's stock has more than doubled in value since the company's 5-for-1 stock split over two years ago. Along with other well-known Nasdaq rivals, the electric car maker even made it into the Trillion Dollar Club. Tesla's market valuation has increased by more than 1,300% since then, reaching $1.1 trillion. As a result, the EV market leader has seen an increase in vehicle deliveries. Keep in mind that a stock split does not necessarily guarantee a rise in the company's stock price. It's more of a makeover for the company. It does not affect the stock's value. The only difference between the shares is that they are divided into smaller portions, which makes it easier for more investors to buy in, which would eventually increase the stock price. At this time, no one knows what the prospective stock split will look like, so you shouldn't put all of your hopes in an unofficial stock split. Tesla also echoed the experiences of other automakers when it came to industry-wide issues and highlighted how these issues were addressed. A number of issues, including semiconductor shortages, port congestion, and rolling blackouts, have hampered our ability to maintain plants functioning at full capacity, the company noted. In the meantime, what do analysts think of Tesla's long-term prospects? The company has an underweight recommendation from JP Morgan analyst Ryan Brinkman, with a price objective of $250 by December 2022. He said in a recent note that the grade took into account advantages such as a very unique business model, an appealing product selection, and cutting-edge technology. He described the company's products as bold, unusual, exquisite, and immensely exciting to drive. The organization is driven by visionary leadership and supported by a functionally strong management team. However, Brinkman raised certain issues that have an impact on how much he thinks the company is worth. While both technological and execution risk appears to be far lower than previously anticipated, he wrote, growth into higher volume areas with lower price points appears to be laden with increased risk in terms of demand, execution, and competition. Brinkman continued, valuation appears to be pricing in upside associated with development into mass market areas well beyond our volume expectations for the Model 3 and Model Y. According to our research, Tesla is the world's sixth most valuable corporation by market capitalization. Market capitalization, also known as market cap, is the total market value of a publicly traded company's outstanding shares. It's a common metric for determining how valuable a company is. Like Raul Paul, we believe Tesla may know no bounds when it comes to its shares, stock price, and market capitalization. How much revenue do you think Tesla will make this year? Comment down below.